Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to do um, an isometric drawing um, of a toothbrush product. Uh, for this baseline test you will definitely need a couple of equipments. A, you need a ruler, a set square and a pencil. In this video I won't be showing you how I would draw in the pencil simply because the pencil marks might not show through on the camera. Okay, So um, the first thing we're going to do is a isometric uh, cube kind of shape. and with that line that we're drawing is going to be um, construction lines. So construction lines meaning you need to draw very lightly because it's going to be a grid and out, a kind of like a guideline of, so that I know how to draw a 3D product, okay? So construction line meaning uh, drawing lightly and I'm using a pink pen to represent that. So first things first, I'm gonna line up my ruler um, down the bottom here. And then I'm gonna draw a horizontal line like so okay next thing I'm gonna get my set square now with a set square I am guaranteed a 90 degree angle okay as you can see here that meaning I will draw a straight line I am guaranteed with a straight line that is horizontal or vertical but obviously when I turn it this way it is going to be vertical then I'm gonna grab my ruler and I'm just gonna extend that line right to the end like so the next thing I'm going to do is um, draw the base of the cube, okay? So in your resources you can see an example of what I'm trying to say. Now to do that, in isometric drawing, you need to have a 30 degree angle of lines going up this way, line going up that way, okay? So with a set square, this is guaranteed with a 30 degree angle. And you simply just need to line it up down the bottom against the line that you've drawn earlier on, like so. And then you just draw a line going towards the middle like so okay and you repeat that and you just flip your set square over same thing and again make sure you hold down your ruler and this way you can draw a nice line going across like this like that okay and if you missed out any points obviously you just need to use your ruler and join that up like so. Okay? And on this side too. Brilliant. So the next thing I want to draw is um, parallel lines going across here and here. And that will create my base for the cube. Okay? So before I can do that, I first need to do additional vertical lines going down parallel to this middle line here. Okay? So to do that, I'm going to quickly measure it out. So I'm going to do uh, one centimeter distance. So I'm going to line it up again down this bottom so that I am accurate with my measurements. So you'll just need to use your ruler and measure that out to one centimeter, like so. And you do the same one centimeter along here. Then you get your set square again and you're going to measure it out and line it up against the lines that you've drawn here, okay? Then you're going to, from this diagonal line here, you then need to draw a straight line from this point meeting the mark, the, that mark you've just done, okay? And then you do the same along the same mark and push your ruler up, your set square ruler up, and you draw from that diagonal line upwards okay and then you can use a ruler if you like um, to continue that vertical line as you can see because we measured it these three lines are completely vertical to one another which is which shows that you have done your vertical lines correctly so essentially any line you make it needs to be parallel to the line next to it okay so the next thing is you're going to draw the base along here. Now you essentially want this to be parallel to this line, okay? Sometimes you might want to use a ruler and place it against here and let's say along here it's about 0.5 centimeters and if I was to move up you want to keep that the same, okay? And it is the same as I move up it's still 0.5 centimeters and that means that line is correct. So what I'm going to do is from this point draw a line going towards the middle line okay now that I've done that I'm now going to do the same 
and join these lines together. And that basically creates the base of the isometric cube. Okay, like so. The next thing is you need to do the top part. So again, you need this line to be parallel to the top line here. So you just measure it out, slide it down like this. And then you're going to do the same from this line, you're going to slide it down. Try to move at the same kind of movement so that that way one line is not more facing towards the bottom than the other because you want these lines to be parallel to each other. And then once you meet that point, you just do that. Okay, and you do the same thing. Make sure that this is parallel to that. And you meet these points here. Like so. Okay, so now you've got an isometric cube shape here. And now you're going to design the toothbrush. And the toothbrush is going to be pretty straightforward. Um, you just simply make sure you stay within the grid here. Okay? So, 